On November 1, 2024, the South Korean Navy officially commissioned its latest submarine rescue vessel, the ASR-2 Gangwado, marking a significant enhancement in its naval capabilities. Designed for deep-sea operations, this advanced rescue ship is equipped to conduct missions for an impressive 350 days a year, a testament to its reliability and operational readiness. The Gangwado's journey began with a contract signed in December 2018, leading to its formal launch in 2020. The delivery of this vessel completes South Korea's naval rescue fleet, which now comprises four ships, the two surface rescue vessels, Tongyang and Gwangyang, and the two submarine rescue ships, Chongheijijin and Gangwado. One of the defining characteristics of the Gangwado is its superior size and operational capacity compared to the Chongheijijin. The Gangwado not only surpasses the Chongheijijin in length, beam, and displacement, but it also doubles the operational availability from 190 days to around 350 days per year. This enhanced readiness sets a new standard for submarine rescue operations in South Korea. A significant advancement of the Gangwado is its innovative deployment and retrieval system for the Deep Submergence Rescue Vehicle, DSRV. Unlike the Chong Heijijin, which utilizes an A-frame crane at the stern for launching and recovering the DSRV, the Gangwado features a central hull passage. This design provides enhanced stability, enabling the DSRV to operate more effectively even in adverse weather conditions, thereby ensuring that rescue missions can continue uninterrupted. Submarine rescue vessels, SRVs, play an essential role in contemporary naval warfare, prioritizing the safety of submariners and maintaining fleet readiness. Equipped with specialized tools, SRVs can swiftly locate and assist submarines in distress, facilitating rapid intervention to prevent loss of life. For example, NATO Submarine Rescue System, NSRS, can deploy globally within 72 hours and is capable of rescuing personnel from submarines submerged at depths of up to 600 meters. A primary function of SRVs is the extraction of crew members. Utilizing submersibles or diving bells, these vessels are able to safely evacuate individuals trapped in compromised submarines. The UK's LR5 submersible exemplifies this capability carrying up to 15 submariners per trip from depths of 500 meters. Additionally, SRVs are equipped with onboard decompression chambers and medical facilities, enabling them to provide critical medical support immediately upon rescue. Systems like NSRS's Transfer Under Pressure TUP, facilitate seamless medical intervention as soon as submariners are brought to safety. The capabilities of SRVs are further enhanced through international collaboration. Many modern rescue systems are part of multinational agreements, fostering interoperability and collective response efforts. The NSRS, a collaborative initiative among France, Norway, and the United Kingdom, exemplifies this trend, allowing for a coordinated approach to submarine rescue operations. In the context of modern naval warfare, SRVs significantly contribute to operational continuity by safeguarding submarine personnel, thus enabling fleets to resume activities without prolonged interruptions. They serve not only as a deterrent but also as a morale booster, reassuring submariners of their safety amid potential dangers. Moreover, the advancements driven by SRVs in underwater rescue technology have broader implications, benefiting maritime operations and enhancing the overall effectiveness of naval forces. The introduction of the ASR-2 Gangwado into the South Korean Navy's arsenal represents a significant leap forward in submarine rescue capabilities. With its advanced design, improved operational availability, and enhanced technology, the Gangwado sets a new benchmark for readiness and reliability in the protection of submariners, ensuring that the South Korean Navy remains at the forefront of maritime safety and operational effectiveness.